Well, hello and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz. We're continuing to go through the book of 1 Timothy. We're in chapter 6, going to look at verse 9 today and talk about this deadly trap of falling, uh, of desiring to be rich, and then give you a, a, a different take on temptation. Okay? So for verse 9 reads like this But those who desire to be rich, fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. That's First Timothy 6, 9. Um, I have a squirrel problem in my yard. They are absolutely thriving, and they're thriving on my fruit trees and my vegetable garden. So I went out and I bought a trap. Boy, it works great. I put some peanuts in the back of the, of the cage. The squirrels enter the cage to get the peanuts. Door slams shut behind them. But you know what happened? After a while, they kind of got wise to it. And they refused to enter the trap. So I sprinkled some peanuts along the way leading into the trap. And they eat the trail of nuts all the way to their capture. Yeah, it's like uh, the proverb says in Proverbs 6.10, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and your need like an armed man. Well, this is the way of those who are disposed to accumulating goods and money. They are consumed by it. They reach for it every chance they get. Unlike the squirrels that I trap and release, this preoccupation with accumulating wealth ultimately leads to destruction and perdition, as Paul writes here in 1 Timothy, because you cannot serve God and mammon. Now, the word temptation here is really interesting. It means the deep sea or open sea. Hmm. All right, imagine falling into the deep and open sea without a life jacket. Little old you against the massive sea. You're caught up in something from which there is no escape, and the deep keeps calling to you, desiring to overwhelm you and consume you by drowning. This is what will happen to those whose mind is occupied with accumulating goods and wealth. Those who worship mammon rather than God. They end up with all the other spiritual pi uh, pirates in Davy Jones' locker. Only this perdition is not wet. It is the hell that Judas found himself in for a lousy 30 pieces of silver. What to do? I mean, it is easy to fall into this trap. Well, I want you to think about Peter. He is the only man other than Jesus to experience walking above temptation, the deep sea, if you will, when Jesus invited him to come to him on the water. What happened? Fear overcame Peter, and he slipped into the depths of the sea. Is this not the way of temptation? Fear opens the door, and down we go into the depths. Were it not for Jesus reaching out to Peter and pulling him out, he would have been lost. And what did Peter do when he got caught up in the sea? The same thing you and I should do when we get caught up in the sea, when we get caught up in temptation. He cried out to Jesus, Lord, save me. Temptation sucking you in, swirling in the depths, cry out to Jesus. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. May God bless you. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.